Straight Talk Teams allows anyone within a team to see each other's communication style and compare styles with anyone on that team. It's basically like purchasing a power user subscription for anyone you invite to the team. As they get access to their in-depth results, they can compare styles with anyone on the team, they can see everyone on the scattergram, and they can invite people to their own personal contacts list. This is the Manage Teams page where you can see your number of unique memberships you have available. You can create new teams, you can invite people to teams, and you can see which teams you've had created. This blue dot means that a team belongs to you. So you can set roles, which we'll get into in a minute, which allows others to create a team under your team's plan. So, for example, you can invite a family member. They can invite their friends into a group, learn more about each other, and it will only take up a certain number of your unique memberships. They don't have to pay anything. It's all under your one plan. And you'll be able to see which one of those teams are listed here. So to create a new team, click Create New Team, enter in the name and the description, and press Create. After you create a team, the next step is to invite people to the team. So click Invite, and it will send you to the Invite page where you can select which team you want to invite to, enter in the email addresses manually, type a personal message if you would like, preview and send. Or if you have Gmail or Yahoo, you can import your contact list and select from that list who you'd like to invite. Once someone joins your team, they'll have access to their in-depth results, They'll be able to compare styles with anyone on the team. They'll be able to learn more about their specific style. And they'll be able to compare styles directly with anyone on the team. They can also view the scattergram where they can see everyone's communication style on one grid. They can click on a name to learn more about that style or compare styles directly. They can also invite people to their own personal contact list, but unless under Manage Teams, you've set their role as an inviter, they cannot invite people to the team, so they won't use up your number of unique memberships. Managing a team is very simple. You can manage the team info, which allows you to set the company name and description. You can select Shared Roles, which applies roles to everyone within the team, and this is a good time to talk about those roles. The administrator can do everything. The subteam creator creates subteams within the team. Team editor creates the team info and the team inviter can invite people to the team. This is typically the most important role as it uses up your number of unique memberships. Under the membership section you can click on anyone's name to set specific roles for that person. Or you can delete their membership from here as well. Now these are the number of unique memberships available. If you have someone on two teams for instance, in this case, we have two teams, one for the Great Company Incorporated and one for the Great Company Incorporated sales staff. So we'll have an overlap of names on these two teams, but they won't take up your number of unique memberships. To create a subteam, simply click on the name of the team and click the little plus sign next to subteams. You can create a subteam here, enter the description, and press create. You can then invite people to your subteam once you have it set up. Just by clicking on it, it loads it up, shows who's inside of that subteam, and allows me to invite people to that team. Also, whenever you go to the invite page, you'll be able to see all of your teams and subteams listed so you can easily invite to each section.